हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस लर्निंग आज हम बायोमालिकल्स चैप्टर का एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सवाल का उत्तर चर्चा करने वाले हैं द सवाल ये है कि व्हाई डज डी फ्रुक्टोज गिव पॉजिटिव टॉलरेंस टेस्ट एंड फिलिंग टेस्ट Uh, to find out the answer of this question, we have to recapitulate some of our previous knowledge regarding this topic. Um, so let's begin. Um, first of all, uh, defructose um, is a ketohexose. Still, it gives positive tolerance test and filling test. Uh, so, but it is actually a confusing fact. Um, the structure of defructose. is just like this uh, so of course uh, it is a ketohexose this is the structure of defructose it is a ketohexose it contains keto group uh, we know uh, only aldehydes gives a uh, positive uh, tolerance test and filling test uh, aldehyde can reduce tolerance and filling reagent but um, uh, being ketohexose defructose uh, can also reduce uh, tolerance uh, reagent and phenyl reagent so my question is how does it occur now um, we can find the answer from here uh, so uh, keep in mind in keep in mind that both tolerance test and phenyl test are performed in alkaline medium or in basic medium Uh, so in basic medium d fructose actually tautomerizes it enolizes uh, to form 1 to in diol which form uh, in diol 1 to in diol which again tautomerizes to its keto form d glucose and d mannose being aldohexose Uh, which contains CH group, D glucose and D mannose actually can reduce the mild oxidizing agents like tolerance reagent and phenyl reagent. Actually, it is a fact. Um, I can explain it in the structure in the uh, following section. Um, in fact, in basic medium, uh, in fact, in basic medium. D glucose, D fructose, and D mannose. These three exist at equilibrium. D glucose uh, is in equilibrium with trans in diol. It is in equilibrium with D fructose. It is in equilibrium with cis in diol, and it is in equilibrium with D mannose. Actually, these five forms ex exist at equilibrium. And um, actually, the transformation proceeds so far to distinct steps. that is glucose trans in diol and fructose this is one uh, pathway and fructose uh, cis in diol and mannose this is another distinct pathway actually these uh, two different pathway um um uh, occur simultaneously exist simultaneously and fructose is the obligatory intermediate of this transformation okay Uh, let us understand this fact from the structure given below from the mechanism mechanism of this um, process actually this um, mechanism is known as uh, ld brine av ekstein rearrangement so uh, this is a, after the name of two uh, scientist definitely um, we can start from here just Take a close look here. Um, this is the structure of D fructose. This one, and in D fructose, uh, the in alkaline medium, the OH minus ion actually take up this proton, and it tautomerizes to different enol form. This is the the most important part. Uh, it can tautomerize. in two different um in all form one is cis in diol this is your cis in diol the two oh group are present the same side of the double bond and this is a trans diol when the oh group are uh, present at the different at the opposite positions so this is trans in diol the double bond contains here and uh, this is one two diol actually 
and this is C is 1 to diol. So these two geometrical isomers are possible. This is a trans in diol and this is C is in diol. Mm, the trans in diol form actually re tautomerizes to form the glucose molecule. This is our glucose molecule. Uh, so there are actually two tautomerizes, uh, two tautomerization process occur simultaneously. Uh, firstly, the defructose uh, tautomerizes is enolizes to form this uh, trans in diol, and then the trans in diol uh, further tautomerizes to form the deglucose form. And in another pathway, the defructose tautomerizes to form the cis in diol, and this one further tautomerizes to form the D mannose form. Actually, the difference between D-glucose and D-mannose said that uh, D-glucose and D-mannose are two epimers where uh, in glucose, this configuration of this carbon and in mannose, the configuration of this carbon are different. This is the only difference uh, in the configuration of C2 carbon between D-glucose and D-mannose. Um, so, uh, in alkaline medium, D fructose, sorry, so in alkaline medium, uh, these three molecules actually exist at equilibrium. Uh, that is D glucose, D, uh, D fructose, this is D fructose, this is D glucose, and this is D mannose. And um, in alkaline medium, the D fructose uh, transformed into um, some part of the D fructose is transformed into D glucose and D mannose. And as a result of that, um, because of the presence of this CHO, this CHO, this aldehyde group, um, the mixture can reduce uh, tolerance reagent and failing reagent. So, this is a fact actually um, uh, why um, D fructose gives. Uh, you positive uh, tolerance test and failing test. Um, uh, then let's proceed um, to the failing test and tolerance test. Um, uh, look at here. This is the structure of, sorry, this is the structure of D-glucose and D-glucose uh, reacts with failing reagent which is blue in color and um, D-glucose uh, reduces failing reagent to form the reddish brown precipitate, the reddish brown precipitate of uh, cuprous oxide uh, and uh, D-glucose itself oxidizes to form gluconic acid. Uh, this CHO group is oxidizes to form this CWH group. This is our gluconic acid molecule. Um, so this is the reaction of D-glucose with failing reagent and uh, practically uh, the color of the solution uh, is transformed from this sort of blue color to uh, this sort of um, uh, reddish brown color. Mm, uh, actually the this is the failing solution, this is failing solution and on reaction with D-glucose uh, it will transform into cuprous oxide and the color of the solution becomes reddish brown. Um, uh, so this is a color change that occurs practically. And our next part is the reaction of D-glucose with tolerance reagent. Actually the color of tolerance reagent is um, colorless actually. Uh, so this is... Um, Argentia ammonium hydroxide, this is the tolerance reagent and on reaction with D-glucose, D-glucose is transformed into gluconic acid and the silver is precipitated down. Uh, actually it is very nice to uh, see the uh, test in the laboratory. Um, the um, silver mirror is um, uh, observed in the uh, wall of the test tube and it is actually the very um, ideal uh, situation but um, practically it looks uh, somewhat darkish um, and the silver sometimes precipitate down and the test tube uh, becomes somewhat uh, darkish color whatever uh, D-glucose um, 
um, reduces this Tollens reagent to form the um, precipitate of silver. And this is the reaction of D-glucose with Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent is nothing but argent ammonium hydroxide. Actually, uh, this transformation, uh, this equilibrium is responsible uh, for this phenomenon that fructose gives positive uh, tolerance test and uh, filling test. Uh, this is uh, all about the um, answer of the question. Um, thanks for watching the video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye from now.